Many gazing skyward tomorrow are in for a seldom seen combination. First, a total eclipse of the sun, itself a rarity. Then a so-called supermoon, plus it will be the vernal equinox when the northern hemisphere ushers in spring. So unusual events in the sky, this is a job for the national science contributor, Bob McDonald. So Bob, what can we expect with tomorrow's solar eclipse? Well, what's happening, Wendy, is a remarkable cosmic coincidence. Uh, the Earth, the Moon, and the Sun, I'll be the Sun, will all line up in a straight line. It turns out that the Moon is at its closest point to us in its orbit, so that's why it's a super moon. It looks bigger, and the equinox means that the Sun is directly over our equator. So the Moon's gonna cast a shadow on the Earth, and anybody who who's in that shadow will see the total eclipse. So that's what's happening tomorrow morning. So who exactly gets to see it? Well, unfortunately, none of us in Canada. <laughs> the, uh, the moon also happens to be at a high point in its orbit, so its shadow is casting over the Arctic. And I have a map that will show where the path of totality will be. It starts over the North Atlantic, goes above Iceland, and the only landfall is an island called the Faroes, north of Sweden, and then it goes to the North Pole. So that's where you have to be to see it. Now, there are some journalists who are hiring an airplane and hoping to catch it from the air, and they're gonna be broadcasting that. So really, the best way to see this eclipse tomorrow is online. It should be a, a pretty spectacular sight. And what can we look forward to next, do you think? Well, the next big eclipse that I'm looking forward to is in 2017 because it's going to go right across North America. And it's going to cut along roughly between the border between Canada and the United States. That's one that any of us can see with the eye. And believe me, Wendy, there's nothing like it. Don't have to go to the Faroe Islands. Thanks so much, Bob. No. <laughs> Bob McDonald.